Process safety management could be considered as stewardship to reinforce the principle that this is not the sole responsibility of senior roles, i.e. managers, to create and sustain safe assets and activities. Everyone who contributes to and or may be affected by process safety and asset integrity has a part to play. Cards can be used at all levels from the boardroom to the control room. For example, players are dealt a card from the deck and have to briefly summarize their understanding of and contribution to the PSM element on the card. The process safety management system should be owned and promoted by the board and senior management team. Establishing good governance and embedding a positive culture within a business is essential to delivering leadership in risk management. All systems deteriorate once established, especially the performance of people. So it is vital to check the effectiveness and function of each element of the process safety management system by undertaking routine workplace inspections on operational control and the establishment of a focused set of process safety KPIs. Process safety information Process knowledge, documents, and records must be managed to ensure they are not lost or degrade and remain fit for purpose, i.e. representative of the current assets and activities. Effective competence management ensures that everyone involved in the design, operation, and maintenance of plant, equipment, and systems, including senior managers, and contractors are competent in risk management. Physical ability is as important as mental proficiency to ensure that personnel are healthy and fit to perform their duties. Hazard identification and risk assessment are the two linked stages by which the opportunity for harm in each operational activity is identified. Basically, what can go wrong and when and where could it happen? This risk profiling step is usually captured as descriptions of major accident scenarios based on the facility or the work activity being undertaken. Plant, work equipment, or activity is designed to prevent a loss of containment of hazardous materials or substances or the uncontrolled release of stored energy. The operational envelope or set of conditions such as temperature, pressure or flow must be maintained to prevent a loss of containment or control. The establishment of clear operational parameters leads to the development of clear operational procedures which communicate and guide those involved in high-risk activities in the actions to be taken to ensure that the operational parameters are met while the hazard is present. Establishing and maintaining operational control at all times is the ultimate goal of a process safety management system. This must include startup, normal operations, abnormal and emergency situations. The integrity of containment, controls and operational parameters is maintained, inspected, calibrated and repaired. Where contractors are engaged in the maintenance and operation of safety critical plant and equipment or in the development and delivery of expert systems then it is essential to have effective arrangements for contractor management to ensure that the integrity of the plant and processes are not degraded by the activities. Preparing for emergencies ensures that plant and systems can be shut down safely so that people and the environment are protected from the impact of a loss of containment or control.
the interface between workers and contractors, and the hazards has to be effectively managed using a permit-to-work system to ensure the right precautions are in place to protect people and the assets. Process safety events or incidents are investigated to determine their immediate and root causes and provide feedback on deficiencies and deterioration in control and mitigation measures in a timely manner to allow for problems to be fixed and lessons applied across the whole business. Once established, plant, equipment and procedures should not be altered or changed without a formal approval via a management of change system. This is a permissioning control measure and permission or authorization to undertake a change or modification must only be given once the risks of the change and potential impact have been assessed and considered acceptable. Despite the adoption of proven PSM frameworks, incidents continue to occur for a variety of familiar and avoidable reasons. Using a process safety audit tool to spot problems before they turn into disasters, duty holders and owner operators can benchmark their performance and track their progress to quickly identify and correct deficiencies by planning and implementing appropriate corrective and preventive measures. For more information on the products and services available to support the establishment and ongoing assurance of your PSM system, please contact Process Safety Integrity and Ian Travers via their websites.